What's good, Homer Squad? It's your boy, Homer Ziggy. We back in here with another triple threat reaction and such. And hey, y'all, y'all are really showing good from the recent one I did. So hey, and those were some vibes, some big top ones. Well, we back again with some other three big ones. And let's just say this three piece right here. Yeah, these are some big, these are some heavy hitter ones. So, hey, and look, for those, if you are Jamaican, or if you're not Jamaican, you already know what today is, well, by the time you see this and such, but I just want to say, to all my Jamaicans out there, to our fellow Jamaican as well, happy Independence Day, to our country, to our, to you know what, to Jamaica, man, look, y'all okay, if you know me, you know me all. I rep my country no matter how. Whether I buy my flag or my shirt, I have to rep it. But yeah, and sometimes I can switch it like that. But either way, we about to check this first song out, and it's by Dizzy 8, a Bakugo rap song. Bakugo! And it's featuring Peso P. We about to, let's see what this combination go do. So we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And without further ado, Let's get in the video. Hey, 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 like vodka go, we gon' blow up. Light up the block and get hot when I show up. I'm in a spot, no, you cannot ignore us. They feel the energy, they feel the aura. Wait, came in the game just to show up. Me versus you in the game, it's a blow up. Wait, I be the one you don't know about. Come try me, it's gon' be so sad. How you gone? Like, how did it happen? I was aggy, then I started snapping. It was tragic, you not in my bracket. He up next, must be joking, he capping. Got me bored, boy, I'm sleep when you rapping. They been sleeping on me, they been napping. Na People have been. That's a fact. People have been speak sleeping on Dizzy, man. Because it's like this. With Dizzy, even though he is like one of the top nerdcore artists, let's face the fact. A lot crazy as it sounds, and I agree with Schoolface when he said it that with Dizzy, a lot of people in like in the converse, in the conversations of like top nerdcore artists or just nerdcore artists. Well, just artists in general in the YouTube scene, YouTube slash nerdcore scene. I'm a, you know what? Fuck it, I don't care. In the nerdcore scene, you might hear like the Rustage, Daddy Fat Snaps, Fable, Divide, and so on and so forth, right? But have you really ever you 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 like really hear Dizzy? Like you barely hear it in Dizzy. You like hear it sometimes and such, but have you really? Cause let's face it. With Dizzy 8, y'all can't tell me that any time when he either comes on with a new song or is on a cypher, y'all cannot tell me most of the times when it comes to reactions from other people that his don't be the standout. Period. It happened. I was aggy, then I started snapping. It was tragic, you not in my bracket. He up next, must be joking, he capping. Got me bored, boy, I'm sleep when you rapping. They been sleeping on me, they been napping. Now I'm at your front door with that record. Yeah, I'm at your front door with the ratchet. Man, I'm about it, I want the reaction. If I want it, I get it, I snatch it. Want a crib that's as big as a palace so I can get lost because it's built like a labyrinth. I be losing my mind, I be spazzing. When I hop on the track, I be lapping these rappers that's thinking they actually factors. But fact of the matter, they don't even matter. I tell them to scatter because I want to chill, kick back. Watch anime. I don't really care if a rapper ain't feeling me. Hey, and Duke, all I gotta say is this. When it comes to hip, when it comes to this rap music, yeah, we can be cool and all, but let's face it. At the end of the day, to its core, right? No matter if it's what, no matter what the subject it is, hip-hop, main, like mainstream, nerdcore, like anime rap, whatever, right? At the end of the day, rap is about competition. So, nigga, if you end, and it's like this, if you in this rap scene, no matter what it is, right? If you in this rap scene, and niggas are gonna tell you that, nah, you ain't on my level, don't take it, don't take it as butthurt. And Dizzy, you might hear me. If Dizzy see, Dizzy, if you see, you probably won't see this, but you probably will. But either way, 
I'm gonna just say it like this for rappers who are gonna come up in such nerdcore artists or whatever if you're coming up in the rap game and certain people are taking shots at you even if it's not directly towards you or just but just taking shots and it might be towards you don't take it as a don't take don't be sensitive use it as motivation to say that oh you think I'm you think I ain't on your level bet that's as big as a palace so I can get lost cause it's built like a labyrinth I'll be losing my mind I'll be spazzing when I hop on a track I'll be lapping these rappers that's thinking they actually factors but fact of the matter they don't even matter I tell them to scatter cause I wanna chill kick back and watch anime I don't really care if a rapper ain't feeling me put it on wax I can show you what a killer be put it on the track it's a rap he ain't killing me it's killing me he thinking that he matching my ability you kidding me you wanna get rocked for me that's child's play pull up and break out the kid in me Hey. look yeah fuck it's basically it's basically matching how Bakugo is in the show, but nah, this ain't this ain't just a this ain't hitting to Bakugo, nah. This is just dizzy talking. You kidding me? You wanna get rocked for me? That's child's play. Pull up and break out the kid in me. Hey, like Bakugo, we gon' blow up. Light up the block and get hot when I show up. I'm in a spot, no, you cannot ignore us. They feel the energy, they feel the aura. Wait, came in the game just to show up. Me versus you in the game, it's a blow up. Wait, I be the one you don't know about. Come try me, it's gon' be so sad. How you gone? Like, how did it happen? I was aggy, then I saw that snapping. It was tragic, you not in my bracket. He up next, must be joking, he capping. Got me bored, boy, I'm sleeping when you rapping. They been sleeping on me, they been napping. Now I'm at your front door. And here comes Mr. Drunken Monk himself, Mr. Cra Mr. Crazy Nigga, man. This, that's the thing with Peso. With Peso, you don't, yeah. And you wonder why people always saying Peso is like the payway to the unorthodox style in nerdcore. This nigga just in the mid in the middle of the chorus, this nigga just came just literally in the first sentence, slide in and such. Like nigga. They've been sleeping on me, they've been napping. Now I'm at your front door with that wreck. Slide down. We had a door like a package. Walk down. I got that blick in my baggage. Last tell money, I'm motherfucking cackling. Bro, you a good kid. Stop all that cap shit. How you are sober, but sending your packet? How you are sober, but sending your packet? Like, nigga. And people will think like, oh nah, he, he way off beat. And I'll be honest with you, right? I'll be straight up honest with you as reacting, close door. When you see me, close the door. Anyway. But yeah, like I was saying before, mm. over there. With peso. You wonder why he's the king of the orthodox style in nerdcore, cause nigga. And like I was saying, yes, I'll admit for a certain period of time for me, I'll admit he was a little bit offbeat. Certain times. But let's face it, the more you keep listening to it and the more you get more into it and such, you realize, oh nah, it's not that he offbeat. It's just his type of style. And you can... And it's either you rock with it, or you don't, or, sorry, sorry, big burp, or, the thing is, you've seen many other artists and such, mainstream wise or so, like, like, think about it, like with Blueface, like with E-40, you see them try to go off beat at certain points in the music, in the, like, the beat, and somehow, it, it, like, works, so with Peso, Whenever he does it, it just works. Tapping, got me bored, I'm sleeping when you rapping. They've been sleeping on me, they've been napping. Now I'm at your front door with that wreck. Slide down, we had this door like a package. Walk down, I got that blick in my baggage. Last tell money, I'm motherfucking cackling. Bro, you a good kid, stop all that cap shit. How you are sober, but say that your pack hit. Or say that your straps hit. Bitch, I need answers right now, where is up? My weapon in the whole house blowing shit up. My, my weapon in the whole house blowing shit up. <laughs> yeah, peso is like. The drunk, like, like what Schoolface John calls him, the drunk monk, young animal in the in nerdcore. Cause this nigga can just say the most. Yeah, peso. I I know you probably gonna see this, bro. Don't ever change. <laughs> yeah. 
or say that your straps in. Bitch, I need answers right now, where is up? My weapon or whore, I was blowing shit up. My weapon or whore, I was ready to buck. Bitch, you know my name and you know where I'm from. Bro talking shit, said that he clutch. I'm dropping the pen, but he ain't pull up. Get it? I pull the pen, it's up. He hold up, hold up, hold up. And with peso, he going, just when you think like this nigga can't throw in bars too, hold up. Said that he clutch. I'm dropping the pen, but he ain't pull up. I'm dropping the pen, but he ain't pull up. Now, if you've watched, now, now not only that's a, that's a double, that's a double entendre right here, cause dropping the pen, but he ain't pull up, like dropping the addy, but he ain't show up. But also in the show, freaking when Baku go, he has that little, he basically has like a cannon on his hand, and all he has to do is just. Pull, pull that pin up and bugger shot off a nigga's head off yeah peso like i said don't change <laughs> get it i pulled a pin it's up he talking shit he gets flipped like my run i'm really by acting like why would i run we do this for real is it really no stuff big bang this year i'm just blowing up got big bang i'm really counting my butt they thought peso was villain just off appearance i said bitch are you serious tackle any challenge bitch i'm fearless number one next to none i'm peerless hold up i'm sliding like this you hear this i walk out my section we motherfucking clear it. bitch i'm in my lane ain't veering boom my blood will roll up like berries hey, hey. Like my blood will roll up like berries <laughs> yeah Pe and trust me peso and it's like this peso has an is featured on another song with dps today on dps is Yuji Ohama's song, I trust me, I'm re def trust me. After this, I'm definitely reacting to that one, and it's probably up. If you see it right now and such, it's probably after this. But trust me, if the first time around when that, you know what? Mm -hmm. Motherfucking clear, bitch. I'm in my lane, ain't veering. Boom, my blood all rolled up like berries. Hey. Hey. Like Baku go, we gon' blow up. Light up the block and get hot when I show up. I'm in a spot, no, you cannot ignore us. They feel the energy, yeah. they feel the aura. Wait, came in the game just to show up. Me versus you in the game, it's a blowout. Wait, I'll be the one you don't know about. Control me, it's gonna be so sad how you go out. Goddamn, Peso. You is something else. And Dizzy coming with that mm, energy. Just coming at your neck energy. But hey. Now we here with Professor Mr. Anime Brain himself, the professor himself, Professor Kuro, featuring Diggs the Prophecy, his Mihawk rap, Warlow, 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 Warlord, Jesus Christ, yeah. It's basically with my accent and such words, certain words for me. It's weird for me to say, but yeah. Shout out to Professor Kuro, bro. Man, how long you always gonna keep us? Let I wanna ask before we get into this. I wanna ask you, Professor, because I know you are gonna see this. Are you bi-weekly or you take like tri-weekly or so? <laughs> like basically, well, it's basically like this. When it comes to certain nerdcore artists, if they want to get the song perfect and right. I would not mind if they say two weeks. If they want to do a week, fine. But if it's two weeks, yeah. Sometimes that two weeks is more better because that way gives you more. Gives you like that entire two weeks and anything that had happened in around that two weeks. Ah, uh, nah. That's just ammo to load it in and start letting it ring. But let's get it. I need to black, black diamonds. Hey there. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Yeehawk. Woman were load on these seas. Never had a crew or team. All I need is blazing beats for battle keep pour them off me. Pour up your scream. Yeah, that shit is a calling to me. Yeah, bring out the night. I'm disturbed in the dreams of any sort of trying to run up a V. Uh, I don't even really have a bounty, but I'm not in every town and county. Uh, okay, now that that little puggy there, I don't really need run up a bounty. Like, what the what the heck was that? <laughs> like, I don't really have a bounty. Like.
the of B, uh, I don't even really have a bounty. But I'm known in every town and county. Tell of the strongest, no matter who's around me. Stand so the so I'll leave you begging on a downy. Uh, they ride in my way, but can't rock the bow. It's really only built for two. One in the coffin who's dead off a duel in the living room. Might it's a fear, Dracula. Won't make warlord on these seas. Never had a crew or team. All I need is blades and beasts, but battle keep pour them off me. Board up your screams, yeah. That shit is a calling to me, yeah. Bring out the night, I'm disturbed in the dreams of any sort that try to run up a fee. Uh. Folks, listen, I'm a bird of prey. Chop a style and a vision, know you heard of me. In addition, my condition cause emergency. Okay, so, Professor, just wanna say just a little bit. Certain times you were a little bit offbeat. I ain't gonna. I gotta keep it real, right? Gotta keep it real with you. Certain times you're a little bit offbeat, but for the rest of it, it was fire. Like, but I wanna catch some of the bars. Hold on, I gotta go back. I wanna catch some of these bars. Strongest, no matter who's around me, stand so the toe, I'll leave you begging on the downy. Uh. Cause basically, the first time when I saw, cause basically, the first time when we saw Mihawk in style, sorry if I saying the name wrong, Mihawk, Mihawk in style, was that one first time battle with Zoro. Yeah, you can see why he's one of the warlord warlords for a reason. Look, if I y'all already know what my like I said it, my accent it makes me hard to say certain words in English. But yeah, but yeah, you see why he's somebody not to f with, <laughs> cause the way how that nigga freaking sliced and diced up Zoro. And the fact that Zoro wanted to come back for more? Zoro, you crazy. Uh, they ride in my way, but can't rock the boat. It's really that's that's literally the first time we saw him. Ride in the way, but can't rock the boat. Forget the way, nigga. So I'll leave you begging on the downy. Uh, they ride in my way, but can't rock the boat. It's really only built for two. One in the coffin who's head off a duel in the living room. Might it's a fear, Dracula. Won't make warlord on these seas. Never had a crew or team. All I need is blades and beasts, but battle keep pouring them off me. Board up your screams. Yeah, that shit is a calling to me. Yeah, bring out the night. I'm disturbed in the dreams of any sort that try to run up a fee. Uh. Folks, listen, I'm a bird of prey. Chop a style and a vision. Know you heard of me. In the Don't think I didn't catch that ball. I'm a bird of prey, cause hawks. What's they? Cause with hawks, me hawk the prey. My condition cause emergency Competition never given, that's my word to say Hey, y'all just be talking so loud No use for the squawk and I smile uh, The best I'm the talk in the town uh, The outside to me hawking them down Hey, fit it with that drip So you know I keep it so see Never need a crew Cause I'm different, I'm so far See, they just Okay, Dix, what the hell Y'all don't be say Don't be stealing my words now <laughs> That's my, I only say saucy. Well, let me, <laughs> sorry, damn burps. You see what you made me did? You see what you did, Diggs? You made me hiccup because of your sauciness. Them down, hey, fit it with that drip. So you know I keep it saucy. Never need a crew, cause I'm different. I'm so bossy. They just wanna clash, makes no different. They all lost, see. Strongest set of flock, catch that euro if you cross me. They marvel at the technique, always watch it with the hawk guy, shout to Jeremy. Uh, you will level next me, but your growth rate is XP, so impressing. Uh, I'm partial to that tech team, so intercept me at the cost of your neck being locked off. I'm a cop dog, you go mind boss, you go find loss at the end of your spine gloss. Now that's a good, now that's a good rhyme scheme. Da da da, and nice little flow right there. Da 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 da. Why that sound like the freaking pirates? Of, why did why did that flow to me? I don't, Professor, he, like if you, I know you probably you probably do watch this, but I just want to know that little flow right there. Don't you think that don't sound like the Pirates of the Caribbean type of flow? Da, 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 da. Like, hold on. Made it XP so me, impressing. Uh, I'm partial to that tech team, so intercept me at the cost of your neck being locked off. I'm a top dog, you go my. Boys, you go find loss at the end of your spine gloss. To me, it just sounds like. Da, 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 da. In a way, in a little bit of way, it sounds like it to me. Like. Y'all can say what y'all want. To me, if anyhow I find that a certain rhythm or flow 
in a song sounds like something in like a in like a certain different way y'all can say it's a good flow and all me i will still say it's a good flow but i'm just gonna be like why it sounds like a certain track <laughs> like t like professor i know you're gonna see this tell me you don't think that one sound like it's from the pirates of the caribbean <laughs> Woman were load on these seas, never had a crew or team. All I need is blades and beasts, but battle keep pour them off me. Board up your screams, yeah. that shit is a calling to me. Yeah. Bring out the night, I'm disturbed in the dreams of any sort of trying to run up a V. Uh. Hey. You gotta support the man. Shout out to Professor Kuro, man. Shout out to Professor Kuro and Diggs. Wait, let's give him that runtime, man. Gotta show his props. But yeah, shout out to Diggs. Shout out to Professor Kuro. Y'all did y'all thing. Make sure y'all go subscribe to the man, cuz, hey, he just. He's just a. To me, with Professor Kuro. Hold on, Cam. Before you start. First of all, we know what Cam Steady is about, so before that. Just want to say just a little shout out to just Professor Curl and such because he's like certain nerdcore, he's like one of the few nerdcore artists that like would retweet my, like anytime when I post like a reaction and such to a certain nerdcore artist, he would like literally retweet it and then like put a quote over it and basically like comment and such. But hey, man, I wish it's like this. And shout out to everybody who is at the NPC and such at Chicago shout out to y'all but damn I, w I wish I could have wanted to come ah oh boy I wish I could I wish I I wish I could have but it is what it is but sooner one way or one day just one day I would want to meet some of y'all nerdcore artists just one of these days no matter where it's at one of these days when I when I trust me I would want to meet one of y'all, no matter who it is, no matter what con, no matter what con event or one of these days I want to meet one of y'all for real, real. But either way, now to end off this triple threat, now we got a Shoto Todoroki rap song, Family Name by Cam Steady, featuring Connor Quest. Let's get it. <laughs> This is not Cam. This why do you, why you sound like Kez? Who, who are you, who is you and what you done with Cam Steady? Cause this is not Cam Steady. This we know how his screaming voice is, but this is not Cam. Who is you? What the hell? Lately, lately this nigga sound a lot more different than we're normally hearing him from his screaming voice. Tell me you don't think this don't sound like Kez. Kez, did you hack into this man's account? Cuz why you speak you why you It says here it's only Connor wait, let me see if it's only Connor. Yes, it's only Connor. So why the hell it sounds like you in here? <laughs> what the hell, Cam? <laughs> Y'all make sure y'all stay hydrated. Cause this nigga can first making me bang in my head and shit. That's the thing with Cam. He gonna make music that makes you bang your shit off. And I don't mean with a gun, just bang your shit head off. 
All I gotta say is, I love Nerdcore. <laughs> I love the evolution of Nerdcore. And I keep, hope it keeps on coming and coming and coming. Because let's face it. Sorry. Let's face the facts. Nerd, I, Man. Y'all be. Y'all think I'm playing when I say. I be wanting to. I be really wanting to test how it is. When I like try to, man, you know what? Never mind. Cause at the end of the day, nerdcore to me is always gonna be special. Cause it made me want to start watching some anime and such. Like I would never think that music would drop a certain type, a certain like music community, right? Would drive me to the point. Well, I won't say like forcing me and so on, but literally like act on my instinct just wanted to make me watch a certain thing it literally made me want to go watch anime because it is nerdcore like with other mainstream music it makes me feel some type of way and such but have you ever like take it like this right when i came into this nerdcore scene right like from a year and a half ago right i never even know there was like a nerd. I never even know. There was this nerd, this anime rap scene, nerdcore scene, right? Never even know. Cause I was think, cause you know what? I'm a t almost. I want to save it for another video, right? Just want to save this, save my how my experience is with the nerdcore for another video, cause that's it seems like a good idea. If y'all want me to do it, let me know in the comments below. But all I gotta say is. With nerdcore, I'm always gonna want to put it up. Gonna always gonna say it, and I don't care who gets offended. Is a is on the same level or possibly more than the mainstream. Don't care. Son of a man, I still got a need. Call me a punk, but I'm so in the scene, and I'm back at the gas, and the cycle repeats. Who cares if money's up? I'm a punk, down on luck. Powers never pay with love. Daddy knows I'm not enough. Mom can't even look me up. She's feeling crushed. What the fuck? I ain't choose to be the chosen one, but I guess it's stuck. And they can't punch. So I'm now jump. Every motherfucker, I'm a diamond, and a diamond gotta shine. And I still can't die till I still have to see the funeral. Every little enemy of mine try to break that ice. I'ma take my slice, cause I heat on that. And the rocks are right, and the man's obsessed. Trying to lock my mind. I'm never gonna rest, so claim my prize. That's why so. Say whatever shit you say. This that shit that gonna make you know the family name. This shit, this shit, this shit. Hold on. Okay, now. Cam. Back to Cam now. What I'm telling tell y'all. With Cam Steady, you always gonna get some shouting. You gonna get some bars in there. You gonna get sauce. All in all, with him, he just he is this type of person that will make you lose breath just by hearing his bars. Can my father's father scream to me? A path to set a place and on the other side the stage. It came to me. Connor Quest, how you gonna sound on this? Cause I know with your British accent and with your accent and all, but hey, with you've heard me about my accent, rep my country with pride, you know. But Connor, move on, all you I got so on this. This Hold on. I know. Did he? Hold on. G let um burn like one. How did he? How did he word that perfect thing? Saint ever G let him burn like one No choice, we're weak in the world I'm from But we're gonna speak to the hurt My songs are back on the turnpike I was on a path that wasn't made for me Wearing my heart on the long of a short sleeve Learning the fabrics along me Is grafted ice in a pack That'll numb me like morphine They think I'm middle of the road Like the center divide and the wine I'm in the middle of the 
road like the center divider and would hold on I've been giving Cam and Steady his props now I'm gonna give Connor his props I've gotta say with Connor Quest right this man always finds a way how to make word plays and freaking metaphors be so fire like bro like how does he do this how my nigga how I'm talking to you Connor forget the people I'm talking to you me and you I'm gonna look at you dead in the camera nigga how they think I'm middle of the road Like the center divider No, I ain't brittle in my bones I'm one hell of a fire Like I'm Kiji and a kind who been affecting the climate Made it work with what I had And they done said I'm a guy Below zero or keeping it a hundred degrees They see it different when your blood is perceived It can feel like I'm stuck in the breeze Struggle to breathe under the sea Rubber than rubbing up the trunk of a tree Did you get a while out? Think you need a timeout? Cool the jet and wind down Please make your eye out Think you think about how I think it's an eyebrow Say it's looking right now Better what I like how What they want? What you want me to say? What y'all really want me to say? Cam started it, and now this nigga's picking it up. And now this man, no. I am so glad. And y'all may s look if y'all look. If I say this, take it. You can take it any way you want, whether it's good or negative. I am so glad they are not signed to no major labels because let's face the fact. If they were signed to like a major label, they would not have this type of good music. Straight up. Because 9 times out of 10, we see artists who are signed to major music and are, they, are most of their music good? Fuck no. They're really not. They just sub. Now, and it's not even like if it's good or anything, just, nah. Because it's like this, whether the music is fire or whether the music is, it's okay, it's okay. At the end of the day, you still think people think that was good. And, and, but 9 times out of 10, if anyhow it's a mate, if it's anyhow from a major label's production or whatever, 9 times out of 10, them shits don't go, they, them shits don't fire. I'm s I'm being, I don't care how you think I am. That's why I say I'm so glad that some of these nerdcore artists are not signed. Because they got the freedom to do their music how they want it. And they let, not only, they let the fans, they let their fans be the judge of the music. If it's fire, it's fire. If it's cool, it's cool. If it's trash, it's trash. And nine times out of ten, let's face it. This is, and with this nerdcore music, Nigga, all this shit is always fire. You gotta see it different when your blood is perceived. It can feel like I'm stuck in the breeze. Struggle to breathe under the sea. Rough with them rubbing up the trunk of a tree. Uh, uh, you think it a while out, think you need a timeout. Pull the jet and wind down, press and make your eye down. If you think about how, let them miss an eyebrow. Say it's looking bright now, better why I lie how. Even up like bow, hit him up live rounds. I've been on the high ground, reaching up a sky cloud. Hearing the mic sounds green of a high crowd. I'm never running, you find me hoping because of my style. Say whatever shit you say. This is shit that's gonna make you know the Yeah. I think it's time. Hold on. This damn thing. Y'all saw in the last video this damn thing was in my face. But now. Nah. Shout out to every fucking body who was on this shit. Because god damn it. Y'all was saying y'all shit. Dizzy. Peso. Professor Kuro. Diggs. Cam Stabby. Connor Quest.
二零幺。Y'all giving me the look. I don't care what happens from now on. I'm making sure that if anyhow when you see me, cause not is like this. I'll admit, for many times when I'm reacting to music, right? No matter or reacting to anything, right? Y'all always saying that I don't be one be passionate. I like you don't hear no. Like real genuine emotion from certain thing, right? If I'm reacting, right? After, sh like in that chorus, that Kim just said, "Save that shit you said. Save that. Sh save whatever shit you said. Save that shit you're saying, because from right fucking now, I'm making sure y'all hear me, hear me, because y'all heard me today." I was talking my shit. But hey man. Shout out to y'all. Shout out to this three piece man. Cause they made me talk my ish today. But y'all let me know what y'all thought about this in the comments below. It's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.